Hey, what's up? So I'm gonna just give you a quick guide on how to use this Notion template to track your coding productivity. Um, just from my personal experience, I know that using Notion is very useful, but at the same time, it can be very confusing when just jumping right into it. So I'm here to give you a guide so you can get the most out of it. So when you get onto the coding workspace, you are going to be greeted with two of my favorite things the habit tracker, and you're also gonna be greeted with Lo-Fi Girl. She is awesome. She's like the best um, like lo-fi music to listen to while studying and coding or whatever it is that you're doing. And when you are greeted here, you're gonna see a few things. You're gonna see quick actions. This is gonna be able to um, code show, just quickly hit the, hey, you coded today, and it'll pop up on the code for 60 minutes a day. You're gonna hit new to-dos, new sessions, and then this is gonna be the normal actions for your to-do list, your coding sessions, your projects, and your goals, okay? So let's go through these things one by one, and you know, then you'll be, you'll be off to be able to use this by yourself. So first, we are greeted with the coding habits. And then I can easily just click code it today. And since I'm currently recording this on the 31st, it's not showing up here, but it's how this is, is this is the last day of the month. And when we get into a new month, which is tomorrow, you'll be started off back at the front, back at the top. And with here, you can basically go from a month to a quarter to a half of a year and go, go all the way up to a year to track how long you've been consistent with your coding. Okay, so that's great. Um, I like to keep it at a month because I like to gauge my, oh, that's the code that was written for this. I like to gauge my progress month by month. So we're gonna leave that at a month. Um, here, you have a new to-dos. This My to-dos was to make this video. Um, boom, we did that. So you could go ahead and create a new one by here, this is just to keep, make sure that you're doing your stuff. So um, use this template, it's gonna be, let's just say that, use this template, okay, cool. And so this is the to-do list, there's more to it, you could do the to-do list for the week, today, and you can pull up a whole calendar to show how long you've been, you know, making sure you're consistent with your whole journey, okay? Now let's move over down to coding sessions. So these are coding sessions. These are for you to show that you have been coding, okay? And I've just put some random one in here just to you know track to see if I've been doing it. But let's say new coding session. We will name this um, uh, practice one, okay? Start session, boom. And now the session has started. Let's give it like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, boom, end session. And it's gonna say hours spent, zero, because I didn't spend any hours on it. Cool. Now let's move down to our projects. Now I'll put a couple of sample projects in here. For example, YouTube clone, Netflix clone. Now let's, uh, let me show you how we could do this. We could do a new project. Okay, we're gonna name this project um, Personal Portfolio. And we need to start this today on the 31st. And then we wanna have our portfolio ended by the end of the week. So we'll say Saturday, okay? Um, end date, 31st, end date. Boom, hour spent, time progress. This is gonna be able to show how much time you've been, you know, put, putting towards that. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna get out of here, boom. And then we have a new project called Personal Portfolio. Boom. So, and if you're curious about what this other stuff was, you can add, you know, sessions. So for example, this these could be sessions dedicated specifically towards your personal portfolio. So when you are uh, working on your portfolio, say example, um, this is gonna be first session and you can basically use this use this start come over here We're started for the first session and this is directly towards our personal portfolio project okay 
So whenever we want, we can add a map. So 0 0.02 for our first session with them. And you can see here, personal portfolio 0 0.02. And then you can also get a better look at that whenever you click a new session. Uh, right, let me take that out actually. Not a new session, we'll take that out. Whenever you do a new to do, you can add goals and you can add your projects to it. So that's also pretty nice. But for now, we'll take that out because we're not using that. Um, boop. So now we come back here. So we finished projects. You guys can see, you guys can start projects however you'd like. And these are your goals. My goal for was to have a 100-day coding challenge. And we've had a 100-day coding challenge. But So this is for you to be able to implement for yourself. So cool. So um, let's go through these quick actions. So these are the normal actions. And you can also use the quick actions. So for a new to do, all you have to do is boom, click, the, click this new to do. Um, to do is start coding now, okay? Boom, and then that's gonna be our first to do. And we click this and we go back to our coding workspace. And I see we have a start coding now, and then we have a new session, quick session, and this is gonna be um, practicing. And then we can add projects. We can add this project to our personal portfolio. So this session can be applied to our new portfolio. So if I click new portfolio, this adds practicing. And we started this. So we started this on the first, right? And they have this over here. So just to show that we got 48 hours an hour to do this. Make sure you're actually, you know, utilizing it and not just saying that you did it because then that's not, you know, uh, Showing that you're accountable to your goals, right? So that's that. Let's take a look at our, we can go through our navigations. We can click our to-do navigations. This will take us to the actual to-do page um, whenever it loads. Boom, you see, we just have all the to-do lists, all the stuff that we need to do, boom. Um, we have our projects, Netflix clone, personal portfolio, and YouTube clone go back we have goals this is a good one this is just for you to ensure that you're sticking to your goals let's say a new one is um, for me I'm get into app development that is something that I'm really trying to do so um, hopefully we can do that and whenever we add our to-do list we can put tasks in for our um, goals. So let's go back. Let me show you that really quickly. So if I want to do one of these, a to-do list, we're going to do this. And for the goal, so we're going to do um, learn Swift. Okay, we're going to put that in the goals. Um, whenever it's finished loading. Boom, getting into app development. Boom. Now we scroll down, you can see when we, go, when we go in our goals, you see that zero out of one tasks are completed. And if I go back to the coding workspace and I were to say, boom, I did that. I learned Swift. Now we go back into goals and you can see one out of one is done. Boom. And you can just do that for sessions. And in the sessions, make sure you hit hours so you can see how many hours you spent. All right, let's keep going. Let's just say we did all this stuff, right? Um, now we are to the point where we are looking at sessions. Now these are our person. These are sessions that we can click sessions. Um, you can add these sessions to your time and however you want to add them. They're just pretty cool, just to show, hey, you've stayed consistent and you straight up coded and practiced your coding skills for however many hours that you did practice them. So, you did it. Did it. Start session. 
started and then whenever I want I can just end the session okay cool now let's go to back to our coding workspace and we are now at our analytics now this just shows this is like the big report this is like your report card at the end of the month notion will be basically hold you accountable and tell you hey this is what you did and this is what you didn't do okay so your hours spent was 24.46 hours that is great you know spending 24 hours for your coding skills is pretty good i, I would say it's quite exceptional tasks this month you did completed six out of seven of our tasks sessions this month six out of seven of our sessions so we wanted to have more sessions but we didn't complete all of them sadly so we need to make sure we do that all all the time we make sure we don't miss out on our sessions um now let's go back to our coding workspace all right so now we're going to click our habits this is the big one this is my favorite one right here boom so as we said we can go to a quarter we could go to half of a year and we go all the way up to a full year okay for coding 60 minutes a day so that's a lot that we can go to let's click back to our coding workspace and now we got our analytics and then our analytics is right here you can also see the analytics here very very quick so that's about it um for the coding stuff this coding workplace i hope this video was it made sense and you can use this if you have any questions feel free to just shoot me a dm on my instagram j.codes full stack and i'll just you know help you out all right but that's it for me i hope you guys enjoy this uh little tool that i made for you guys um i just thought more i know a lot of people ask me about getting into coding and how i stay consistent and how they could stay consistent so i was like you know what let's let's make something for them let's make something for these people who want to stay consistent on a 100 day journey or on a 365 day journey or whatever journey that you're doing this is for you to stay consistent on anyways i hope you enjoy it thank you i will see you guys soon i guess <laughs> peace